They've been in the rivers, marsh, the swamps, the lakes, up inside of pipes and in and out of shipwrecks. You never know what you're going to find. You never know what's out there. Nobody can do it like a country boy can do it. That keeps the neighbors at bay. I don't have any problem with neighbors. I'm C.J. Bain, and I'm the owner of Deep South Divers. We do underwater recovery. You name it, we've recovered it. Airplanes, cars, trucks, guns, watches, rings, necklaces, bodies. We recover just about everything from underwater. We don't really call South Carolina South Carolina. We call it South Kakalaki. Everybody speaks with a southern drawl. We're proud of our redneck roots. We love women, guns, beer, and diving. And not necessarily in that order. <laughs> The concept of Deep South Divers is very simple. If you lose something in the water, we go down and find it. We get paid 10% of the value of the lost item. If we don't find that item, we don't get paid. We're 24 and 7. If they call us, we're there for them. I'm a bitch. I'm not going to lie. I've got a client calling and you are not taking care of them. Wayne, I know you know a little bit about this. She don't mind speaking her mind, I tell you that. She's got something to say to you, she gets off her mind quick. You don't have to worry about what she's thinking, she's going to tell you. I think it would call redneck, but I just think we're people that have a good time. Listen, y'all, we got a call out today. A gentleman lost a ring, but apparently it's worth a lot. This guy's on like an 80-foot yacht, and he's freaking out. We need to make this happen pronto. Kim, you grab the wetsuits. Wayne, you've got gases. Everybody needs at least two tanks today. Cap, you need to fuel up the boat. Bring it down to the landing. Get it launched. Let's roll. Here's our mission. Lost item, gold and diamond ring. Value of that item, $60,000. Deep South's cut, six grand. If he dropped it in this morning, we're about to have a tide change. And if I don't go down there on the same tide that he lost it, then I'll never find it. The stakes are very high. Boats and divers don't come for free. If we don't find what it is that we're looking for, then we're not only out the money, but I still got to pay. A couple of bad dives, and we don't eat this week. Hey. Did you find it? Do me a favor, go clean it up, would you? I'll drop it. Thank you, baby. Gary, I've got something special for you. Look oh, right thank you. All right, fellas, we've got a large boat that came down this river. They let the anchor out. Got hung on something. It's worth a lot of money. So we'll come back with a big old fat anchor and we can bring to the fly and make them happen. Here's our mission. Lost, historic boat anchor. Value of the item, $20,000. Deep South Divers cut, $2,000. We're here at the dive site looking for the anchor that the vessel dropped. Now, the danger of this particular area of the gators that we see cruise along the surface. It's a chilly day. I'm hoping that we won't find any, but we brought Davy out with us so that we can keep us protected. I'll take care of him. I got him. They call me the Gator Man. In my lifetime, I've killed probably about 100 gators. I'm there to protect them, to make sure that gators don't get them while they're diving. This is a 300 Savage. This is my gun I use to shoot gators with. If he sees anything, you hear gunshots and stuff, just keep your head down. <laughs> we know there's gators out here. That's why nobody else wanted to take this call. I'm just not comfortable with this. We risk our lives every single day. These waters are dangerous. No matter where you turn, no matter what you do, you're going to get cut, you're going to get bit, you're going to get hurt, you're going to get stung, you're probably going to end up in the hospital. Broken bones are common. Being swept out to sea is a constant fear. We've encountered alligators, cudas, tiger sharks, bull sharks, great whites, snakes, water moccasins. you got all kinds of things out there that want to get you. This place is infested with gators. The deeper the, the water and the faster it runs, whatever it is that they're looking for could be a quarter mile away. Davy, Davy, look right over there, right there by the bank. Do you Where? see it? What yeah. is that? What is Gator. that? What is that? Gator. 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 I got him. He's down. That was a great job. It's kind of scary. Kim was right. There were gators in the water. We knew it. She knew it. And I'm glad that we listened to her and brought Davy. I don't know what would have happened had we not had him there. But that's what divers do. We got the anchor and we managed to satisfy the client. Got nice it. Nice job. After we recover the lost item, we always look around to see what else is down there. The anchor was hung on a shipwreck. And I kind of had that sneaking suspicion because of that area. And we found the helm. We found the steering wheel to the boat and went ahead and hauled that out. That's going to be worth some money. 
Then she put it. Oh, man. Oh. Woo! And we found a megalodon tooth. Look at that bad boy! Which is a shark that existed 10, 20 million years ago. They're worth a lot of money, too. So we had a pretty big score. We got a ship's wheel from an old shipwreck. We managed to get that meg tooth, and nobody died. We're at Captain Wally's Pawn Shop. He's an underwater specialist for stuff that we come up with, that we collect. He really knows what he's talking about when it comes to the value of artifacts. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm Captain Wally. I'm a buyer and an appraiser. I collect a lot of items that the divers bring in and help them make a little money. We found a couple more things. I was wondering if you could take a look at them and help us out. So it looks like a dispensary bottle. You're looking at about $50. It's an unusual color. Collectors, I'm... I will pay two hundred dollars for this. You can see that it had poison in it. These are not as many as the dispensary bottles, so that would bring a good price, maybe three hundred dollars. I hauled this out, and uh, knowing that it'd be a pretty valuable piece, it looks like mahogany and, and brass or copper here. The antique dealers like that a lot better if it looks like the original. And a collector item like this probably run anywhere from. 500 to maybe a couple of thousand dollars. That's a nice well, that sounds on. good. Yeah. We'll go anywhere in the world in order to be able to do the job the right way. It's not lost, it's just wet.